it's Jeff, welcome back to another video. Mother has kindly sent me two more of their Plant Spectrum grow lights. This is the uh, Plant Spectrum 16, and this larger one here is the 32. This has easily become my favorite grow light that I have in my collection, and today's video is gonna be a little bit different than the first one. If you haven't seen the first or the original one, I'll leave it up in the top corner somewhere. You can go check that out. And in that video, I basically showed you the setup and the, just, uh, the different orientations that you can use these lights. I will kind of continue that a little bit in this video, but the reason why I got two more grow lights is I actually want to replace some of these utility looking lights um, as these plant spectrums. They're very sleek, they're very attractive. Uh, so yeah, uh, this one in particular, uh, this little, it's like a utility light lamp, clamp type thing. It always gets in my way. I have to move it around just so I can get past this lamp post. So I'm going to be setting these up um, just as a replacement to these grow lights. I really like the look of these uh, grow lights in comparison to these uh, industrial type stuff. So I'm going to take it out of the box again, but it's not gonna be so much as a setup. If you wanna see that, go see the original video. But there is a couple of things that I really appreciate about this grow light in particular. One being is obviously the look of it. Once we open it up, I'll show you here in a second. It's very sleek, it's, it's, it's a very nice looking light. The second thing is, is the quality of the light. Like it's super bright and it has a white light, not like uh, some of these uh, cheaper ones that I got off Amazon. They have more of that yellow and then some of the other grow bulbs out there, they have more of that like pinkish red tinge. So I'm gonna show you um, how my plants are doing with the original Plant Spectrum Grow Light that I got about a month ago. I'm gonna show you those and then I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be placing these two brand new Plant Spectrum Grow Bulbs. So let's get into it. So I'm using the Plant Spectrum 32 as a grow light for all my plants on planks and they're doing spectacular. I just added this uh, little grow lamp um, just because I took a bunch of uh, pothos cuttings. So I can actually turn this off just so you can see how bright this light is in comparison. I just wanna show you now when we turn this one off, just using my, like look how bright it is. This is a crazy light. Okay, now for the plants themselves, um, I don't know if it has anything to do with the light or not, but my pothos, this is the uh, newest leaf. I'm gonna get the light in nice close. It is getting much larger than the uh, original ones. Without taking the Velcro off, it has already secured to the plank. Oops, I just, hopefully I didn't pull it off, but you can see it is attached to the plank. Maybe not, but anyways, it's not moving. It's attached to the plank, so that's good. These Cebu Blue Pothos, they've started to climb up there as well. Um, I think I've gotten another uh, new leaf on my Syngonium Frosted Heart. Got one new leaf on the Silver Sword. Not too sure if this is attached. It feels like it is actually. And I have a, another new leaf on my Syngonium Chia Pens. So, and doesn't, oh, and one more leaf on my Golden Pothos Hawaiian back there. So they're all doing really, really well. Like look at this pattern on the Chia Pens. I'm so happy with how this, uh, how this grow light, like it's, uh, it's done really, really well. So my plan is to place the new Plant Spectrum 32 grow bulb on this lamp post eliminating this uh, utility clamp lamp. So this is the one that uh, continually gets in my way. I have to pull this back every time I go back to my little uh, plant area. So this one is gone and I'm going to secure uh, the new plant Spectrum 32 to the uh, lamp post here. That way it continues to provide light for my plants on the table here, as well as uh, some of my anthuriums and that sort of thing down there. I'm going to quickly just unbox this. I'm not gonna show the entire setup or anything like that. Like I said, you can go check out the other video. Here is the grow light itself. And it comes with a bunch of accessories. The thing I like about this uh, grow bulb is it's like it feels very durable as well as it has many different orientations of how you can set this up. So you can go from like a standing uh, plant one like I have, you can hang this, you can secure it to the underside of plant shelves. I'll be using these little brackets and they basically slide into the uh, back channeling of the, uh, of the light here. So basically you just remove these uh, three screws, take off the plate and they just slide in. This allows you to hang the scroll light. You can use it in like an Ikea greenhouse. You can hang it from a, uh, like a wired plant shelf. Um, many different orientations on how to use this light. So I'm gonna take this off and we'll set it up. 
Before I replace this uh, bulky clamp lamp, I just pulled out my light meter. Just gonna compare the uh, two uh, grow lights just at this range, kind of just touching the schismatoglottis here. It's around the 200 foot candles or so. It's coming around the maybe 220 range, just different spots. A little bit lower light there. Seems to be brighter, a little bit lower. So yeah, anywhere between 200 and kind of that 230 range. I added the zip tie just inside the bracket. I'm gonna secure it to the post here. I haven't done like a dry run or anything like that. So this is basically just an experiment as we go along here. So I'm just gonna cinch that up as tight as it will go. And hopefully that lamp will hang on. Something like that. I can already tell without the bottom being secured that I like this orientation much better. It's gonna be much easier to gain access to my little workshop area. Uh, to my little stool there, so let's add the bottom clip. Here is the zoomed out view of it, and I love the way it looks already. You can barely even tell that there's a grow light there. I don't have to navigate around a, a big bulky light, so let's turn it on. All right, here's the switch, and okay, look at that. It is officially on. What a beautiful light. Okay, I'm gonna grab my light meter here and we'll uh, test out the foot candles compared to the, uh, the other grow bulb that was in that light. Man, everything looks good. Super happy. Okay, I got the light meter. It is in the foot candle setting. As you can see, it's around the same range, around that 200 foot candles. And as I go up, same thing. It's kind of around that uh, mid to 200 foot candles. So, very comparable results, but the thing I like about this one in particular is it's uh, obviously 32 inches long, so you get the light source basically from top to bottom, providing light to these plants. Let's see, as we go closer, you can see how much that uh, foot candle uh, measurement goes up. So I'm only a couple inches from the, uh, the grow bulb. It's receiving that higher light, but as you get further away, obviously the foot candles drop around that uh, 200, which is kind of that maybe higher low light location, um, kind of the medium light is what I would classify this as at, which is perfect for these types of uh, tropical plants. Here's what the setup looks like. I had to add one of my clamp lamps back on just so these plants can uh, continue to get light. Uh, but you can see it's secured at the top here. I think everything looks really good. I'm really happy with how this uh, setup has worked out. And uh, actually I wanted to place this 32, uh, Plant Spectrum 32 on the underside of my plant shelf there so that all of these plants on the floor can continue to get light and then I can eliminate uh, those lamps there as well. So that might be a, another project down the road. But overall, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I'm just gonna turn on my little fan here for dramatic purposes. There we go. Get my air circulation, got my light, got the humidity, got my humidifier going. Everything is looking absolutely fantastic down here. Here is the Plant Spectrum 16. I already added those little brackets on the back. This is a 16 watt grow bulb. The other one uh, is a 32 watt. So I'm really excited about this one just because um, I'll, you'll see here in a second in my bedroom. The grow light that I have is just a grow bulb hanging from just a little bracket that I made up in my windowsill. So this one actually fits perfectly um, for the width of my window. I'm gonna hang it just above the plants, shine this light down. And yeah, this one, I'm really excited to see how it uh, turns out. Just aesthetically wise, just the way it looks, I think it'll look absolutely perfect. Okay, here's my current setup in my bedroom, just in my little plant corner. I have the grow bulb just attached. Um, I removed my blinds, my bedroom blinds. There's a house beside me here. So this is uh, west facing, but it gets no direct sunlight. Uh, it looks like a bright window, but it's kind of deceiving. So that's why I added this uh, grow light uh, just up, up top here. So this is actually a deck railing bar. And I just uh, tied the light to that. And it's just been hanging, just providing some extra light. Like it's a bright window, but I would say it's probably more like a medium light location. Just to uh, give this area a little bit more light, I'm going to be hanging the Plant Spectrum 16 from that bar and removing this whole setup. I do have the wire just taped on. So I'm gonna remove all this. 
I'll have to make some more taper. I'll try and actually leave this on just so I can replace. Just swap it out basically. It should still stick. It's just double-sided sticky tape. Just take all that off. It's all staying on, perfect. Without going through the whole setup of everything, I did install the Plant Spectrum grow light up there. And just so you can see, did the same thing. I just zip tied, I don't know if you can see it properly because of the light. I just zip tied the bracket to the bar up there. I ran the cord to the original position I had it before. I made this little shelf. Um, yeah, just as a little plant stand sole. Just gonna add my chia pens back into its spot. And then I have the on off switch right here, which I can turn on. There. It's tough to tell during the day, but I'll try and do a night shot here as well. But I love the way this looks. There's no more like bulky hanging uh, grow light. It's a nice sleek uh, light at the top there. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this video and what you think of these lights. I think they're absolutely fantastic. They're very versatile. You can use them in many different orientations. You can set them up uh, in many different ways. So thanks again for watching everyone. Take care, bye.